Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Saturday, uh, about 11.45. I have been dicking around all morning with my setups here to try to get them all situated. I got a new cotton carrier belt system. I also have the vest and the sling, but those kind of suck <laughs> uh, because they pull at my shoulders and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and my clothes and everything, and I just decided that I was going to go with a belt system for when I'm walking around, especially in Pleasure House Point. And I had to redo all the cameras and the lens setups to accommodate both the cotton carrier proprietary connection point and to accommodate the, like the Falcam F38 system. So they have these little connectors here which you can see on the bottom, that is this big plate and it can take a fall cam, you can screw in, there's a quarter 20, and then it, you can screw in the actual cotton carrier proprietary thing. And I have one on the bottom of the camera as well for when I'm not using the big lens, but when I use the big lens, I like to hang things from the actual foot of the lens rather than the camera, because I don't want all that weight on the, the, the lens mount. I just, I don't know, it could just be me thinking that that's a problem, but if I think it's a problem, then it's a problem, you know what I mean? So I've got one on the camera and on the lens, the big lens, and then I have one more that's on the bottom of this FX30. That way I don't have to like set down the tripod and the set and the other thing, I could just carry and film. Now, here's the, the thing about today. It's kind of sunny, but it's also getting cloudy and overcast. It's pretty breezy. We've got severe storm warnings for this evening. It turns out they've been moved back until in between 6 and 8, where we're supposed to get some really severe storms. Uh, that includes hail and tornadoes. So we'll find out what's going on when that happens. But for the meantime, I was like, well, screw it. I'm going to go out. I mean, it's pretty nice. But now that I'm all ready and I'm going out, it's getting cloudy. So I don't know how much time I'm going to have. You know how that goes. If it's raining, I don't give a shit. If it's thundering and lightning and hail and tornadoes, then I give a shit. So we'll find out. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Knock on wood. You also might notice something different about me. I have a light gray t-shirt on instead of black. I also have a pair of light faded jean shorts. Yeah, I always get shit for that, but they're the most comfortable for me. So I don't give a shit what people say about it. Now, why am I doing that? Well, I'll tell you. Yesterday, it was 80-something degrees, and it was hot as balls, and I'm always wearing black, which just makes it even worse. That I've dealt with for several years because I've pretty much been the man in black for quite a while now. What I don't like, though, is that everything that I see about bugs, wasps, bees, shit like that, is that they are attracted by dark colors. So when I'm walking through the state park and I'm lost, I'm being attacked by wasps, probably because I'm wearing all black walking through the forest. So I decided that, you know what, I'm just going to have to deal with not being the man in black and I'm going to I'm going to get light colors for the summer anyways. All right. So that's kind of the update for now. But we're going to go to Pleasure House Point, like I said, and I'm bringing everything with me. Like I'm bringing my little stool and I'm bringing my uh, travel carbon fiber tripod so that I can try to get some film. I'm gonna to try to film today with this setup. Uh, I haven't done that in a long time. Normally, I, I bring the, the really big carbon fiber, tri that NRL tripod with the gimbal head, and it's really heavy and awkward and all that kind of shit. And I'm like, I just don't feel like carrying all that with me. So I'm gonna bring the smaller one, and I'm just gonna sit there if I find a place where there's some birds, and I'm gonna to try to do some filming. All right, let's go hopefully film some birds. And if not, take pictures of birds. And if not, walk around with 500 pounds of gear. Yay. All right, it's uh, pretty breezy out here. And I can tell you, even carrying this stuff on this cotton carrier belt, it's so heavy that uh, it's, it's pulling it down. I might have to rearrange all this shit once I get situated, if I get situated. Boy, am I glad I turned that back on.
He's got a good lunch. But this is a good test for this Comica mic because it is really windy out here and I don't know what it's gonna sound like. So as you can see, I have the Comica in my pocket and I have the DJI up here. The DJI is connected to the, the birding setup. So we'll see how that goes. Let me set all this shit down. Okay, so here we have a yellow crested night heron. I'm hand holding this, as you can see, so I'm kind of zipping all over the place. The bird eye autofocus picked up on it right away. It's actually easier to hold without having it jammed up against my forehead. Here we have Mr. Crow. Man, this bird eye autofocus is amazing. It just immediately latches on. I just missed him. Oh, he just swallowed it. He just caught a crab, it looked like. I definitely have to come up with a better way of putting all this stuff together because these cold shoes that are on the cages are not holding these mics in. I've knocked the mic off both cameras several times now, so I'm going to have to be very, very, very aware that I'm carrying these things and that they fall off easily because I do not want to lose these microphones. Okay, here's something else I forgot because I was putting all this weird shit together and I'm dressed differently and my world's upside down. I forgot to bring extra batteries. So the FX30 is down to 39% already and the birding setup because I took off the grip and I took off the cage that goes when you have a grip on it. It was all just too big, too heavy to carry around. And I realized that the other day. Now, right now, I've got all this stuff strapped around my waist. So you can see I've got my little stool and the camera set up down there. It is super heavy and it is just yanking at my hips. It's going to be uncomfortable. I would not want to be walking around in this stuff any longer than I'm already going to be walking around with it. It is incredibly windy, which tends to make it very difficult to get birds, especially flying, <laughs> because there's nothing in the air right now. So I think I think I got enough footage of this for the day. It's going to be stormy later, like I said, but tomorrow it's actually supposed to be a pretty decent day. Not too hot, but mostly sunny. So we're going to kind of go with that. Okay, I'm not even going to walk back into the woods. I'm just going to walk back along the path here and get back to the truck because this stuff is like oppressively uncomfortable. So let's get back to the truck. She's been after me for, uh, for tacos because like every day I posted that I was eating tacos when I was back at my dad's. Not the same, nothing is the same. Pizza Villa is not Tijuana Flats. Tijuana Flats is not uh, Pizza Villa. So I almost said Taco Villa. Anyways, so I said that, that depending on how long I was out, I would go and get the Tijuana flat stuff. Let's go get some food. All right, kids, this has been a fun-filled day. I got done eating, overeating the Tijuana flats and just food coma and wanted to lay there on the couch, but I had other shit to do. I forgot that one of her gifts came like weeks early. It wasn't supposed to be here until the end of April into May. And I was like, seriously? And then I just kept getting updates of it being sooner or sooner or sooner to the point that it was here today. So I went and picked that up. And while I was out, I went and got more socks. Uh, this time I got some white crew socks, uh, since I'm going to be not the man in black all the time, it's getting dark and very windy out. So I actually set up a time-lapse with my Insta 360 RS on the window. And I have the suction cup, suction cup to my window and I plug power into it so it'll last and I just turned it on, I'm gonna let it go until nothing exciting is happening. So that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I'm gonna start going through all of the footage of when I was at my dad's and putting together that nostalgia tour video. And that's gonna take going through dozens, dozens of clips over two weeks. So it's gonna be a while. Other than that, I have to send out meeting invites today. Forgot to do them yesterday. Those need to go out immediately. Uh, and then uh, it's Sven Gulli night. I came home with food and she had made the strawberry pie. So strawberry pie for Sven Gulli. So that's all you get for today.
So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.